Andy, we're here in your application centre, recently renovated, created. Absolutely, yeah, somewhere nice for us to spend some time with these machines. Creating solutions for your customers? Absolutely, creating solutions and demoing the capabilities of the robo drill to the customers. Okay, now there's two here. Um, you've got a machine there with a five axis, we've got yep. also a, a three axis machine here. Um, we run X-Demo, X-Stop campaigns. You have machines that are quickly available from Europe and, and possibly the UK as well, don't you? Yeah, we do. We have um, a couple of machines normally in stock uh, or on turnaround in the UK and um, several more available in Europe as well. Now, what is the benefit to the robo-drill in this day and age? Having stock's great, but it's got to be the right machine. Yeah. Why would someone consider these BBT30 machines over maybe you know, a more conventional choice? Well, I think, I think the attitude towards BBT30 has changed or is slowly changing over the years. Um, people now recognise or they need to recognise that the robo drill with its BBT30 spindle is really, really capable of cutting some of the more exotic materials. So it does it fast, it is powerful, nimble, it fits in within a really small footprint for the size of machine that it is but it gets the parts off fast and it also uses a lot less energy than say an equivalent BT40 of the same X and Y axis stroke. And are you seeing that now, people looking to you for smaller machines in smaller footprints, using less power, but faster? Yeah, ab three ab things. Ab absolutely, because you'll get, for the equivalent part, the same program on a robo drill will chuck the part out uh, and a lot, lot quicker than it would do on a BT40 machine. What we also tend to see is that the BT40 machine might have a larger envelope, but quite frequently customers aren't using that envelope. So the smaller robo drill will produce the parts faster in a smaller footprint, so maybe you could fit two or three spindles into that same area. Okay, now if you had a Fanuc control machine already, you could probably take a program out with a few adjustments, run it through here yeah. and get that benefit. Minimal editing, yeah. What about if you're using a VMC that's maybe got a Heidenheim program in it? Is there a way of converting that um, into these? And not, is it quick? Not so much, but the Heidenheim sort of conversational elements, we've got manual guide eye cycles, we've got the same conversational style of programming on the Fanuc control. Uh, which, which quite a lot of our customers aren't aware of at the time of their purchase. So we've got some quite powerful milling cycles that can be taken and used in the robo drill that takes advantage of its um, servo parameters, acceleration, deceleration. Okay, fast, uh, nimble, small, extremely efficient on power and available on a quick lead time. And if it's not just the machine you need, it's the engineering application support, then this place here is perfect, uh, Fanuc UK in Coventry. Thank you very much, Andy. Thanks, Paul.